This past week, I had the honor and privilege of celebrating somebody's 88th birthday and was gathered with, with friends and with family to celebrate this woman's birthday. Now, as we were celebrating this woman's birthday, we're also grateful for the life that each of us has and how important that is. And you know, when you celebrate a birthday, you pass over from one age to another. So this woman was 87, she passed over now being 88. You know, just recently we celebrated a new year. We passed from 2022 to 2023. And there's a certain freshness about that if that's the way we look at it. You know, in a gospel name, Jesus is identified by John the Baptist as the Lamb of God. You know, and this relates to Jesus being the Passover Lamb. You know, he's going to pass over to new life through resurrection. But you know, we can be inspired by Jesus, especially when he's on the cross. You know, Jesus spent most of his life, ministry life, healing people, and yet he dies a criminal's death on a cross. You know, and he doesn't claim innocence. He doesn't say, you are making me a victim. But he also doesn't victimize other people. This is the real encouragement that we can draw strength from Jesus Christ. But also, ultimately what's happening, and this is encouragement for, for any dark situation in our world, whether that's war, or whether that's any act of violence, even famine, disease, is if, if God can take a Roman execution and transform it into expression of God's love and forgiveness, then there is always hope, no matter what we as, as human beings have to face. You know, and then John the Baptist will say that Jesus will take away the sin of the world. Now, there's a few ways we can look at this. You know, each time that I sin, which is where I miss the mark of being who I truly am, that's, you know, Jesus always hit the mark of who he truly was and is because he, he stayed true to his identity as the Son of God. He continued to receive love from the Father and to give that to others. You know, the Spirit was, had this constant flow in the life of Jesus and even as he approaches his death. But we, can, but we collectively, we can put these all together, like from the beginning of time to the end of time, all of that, Jesus takes it all away. You know, it, that's really what, what in Matthew 11 that Jesus is saying is, come to me all you're weary and carrying a heavy burden and I will give you rest. Jesus will, takes and will take away the, the sin of the world. But also we can look at this sin of the world as the systems that we live in. You know, Jesus lived in an oppressed system. But yet, he was still able to teach about freedom through love. He was still able to heal and forgive people despite this, this oppressive system. And then, you know, we can look at our capitalistic system. You know, there are benefits. It is encouraging us to be servants, to use our gifts for the service of others. But it can fuel greed in us and in people. And so that's where we have to be um, cautionary and yet we can still live out our Christian discipleship in this type of system knowing that Jesus deals with that because ultimately Jesus is in control Jesus has our backs and what a blessing that is you know John the Baptist in some ways is not really someone we want to strive to be but we can learn from John the Baptist and what does John do or what does he express is that he took time to listen. He listened about this experience that was about to unfold for him. And it did unfold at Jesus' baptism. And so, you know, a lot of the prophets, you know, they, they received a message from God, but they weren't able to really experience the fullest expression of that prophecy. But John the Baptist was able to do that. And that's why uh, at one point, uh, Jesus compliments John. 
And so we are encouraged as brothers and sisters to continue to serve others in the same spirit of Jesus Christ. And we can constantly be renewed. We can constantly receive new life from our God. And that's what we do each and every time we gather at Eucharist. As we come to give thanks for the gift of life. And we come to, to be encouraged to be life-giving to the people in our lives.